Well, over two years ago, we were in Atlantic City at the start of the pandemic when everything was shutting down. And I said then I'd be back. So here I am. Welcome to Atlantic City. Well, back in March 2020, we were staying there in the Hard Rock Hotel. I put the link below. It's quite a nice place, but it used to be a Trump casino, the infamous Taj Mahal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start at one end of the boardwalk by the Ocean Casino over there and walk down the boardwalk and just take in the sights and sounds of Atlantic City on this sunny weekend. A lot of people say Atlantic City is really trashy, especially the boardwalk, and they're probably right. But I've got a strange affinity with the place. It reminds me of a much larger fourth core. I like the place for the wrong reasons. So I'm starting here by the Ocean Casino. I'm going to walk down the boardwalk that way. Whatever you think of Atlantic City and the boardwalk, there's one thing you can't dispute. The beaches are really nice. Take a look. So we're getting to all the tacky shops now. You can still see remnants from the glory days. The Boardwalk National Bank. It's Atlantic City's finest hour. The escape rooms and they've got these adverts playing constantly as you walk down the boardwalk. <laughs> what are you doing on the beach? Should be in a forest or something, mate. What I love about walking along the boardwalk is they constantly play Bruce Springsteen's Atlantic City in a really upbeat sort of way, but the lyrics are really grim. <laughs> Even here, you can't escape the clutches of Gordon Ramsay. He's everywhere. A question for the locals. This empty plot here near Caesar's Palace. Did this used to be another Trump hotel that was demolished? It's quite hard to film walking down here because there's copyright music blasting from nearly every hotel and shop or restaurant. One thing though, we can relax. There is a mini golf over there. So I've just walked past the Tropicana Casino and the boardwalk's getting much quieter and I think this is where the electric shuttle service, those little cars that run up and down, turn around. So I don't know, I may take one of those on the way back. We'll see. And there's another squirrel. What are you doing? See, it's much quieter at this end. But it is November out of season, so it is generally quieter everywhere. Saying that, the casino's in. Bagata last night was packed. It's Thanksgiving weekend. So um, everyone's gambling. Well, earlier on, I did mention I like Atlantic City because it reminds me of Porthcawl and old seaside resorts in the UK. But to be honest, it's a bit bigger than Porthcawl, much bigger than Porthcawl, but it does remind me of Blackpool. Imagine Blackpool with gambling.
here comes one of those electric buses now. If it stops here, I may take it on the way back. Well, it didn't stop. <laughs> I think they turned around just a bit further down. I'll go and check it out now. I thought it was by the Tropicana, but I think it was about 50 yards further on. So I've got my ticket for the trip back up the boardwalk. This is definitely the way to travel. A couple of weeks ago, I was on the Porthcall road train and now I'm on the boardwalk bus. It's a bit bumpy. Well, it's very bumpy, actually. So that was my ride at the boardwalk on one of those electric buses. Very enjoyable, but very bumpy. <laughs> my back. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the beach. So that was my walk down the Atlantic City boardwalk. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of Atlantic City, and the video I mentioned we made in March 2020, just before the pandemic. That's coming up next, along with some more of my American adventure videos. So I'll see you in one of those. Bye.